All right, we're doing a parasophageal hernia. We're gonna be ending up putting in some mesh here in just a minute. Working in 3D, I've got the flex decks in the right hand. I stand right between the patient's legs to keep my entire operative field right in front of me. One of the key things that's a nice move you can do here is I'll actually have my hand up and extended, and you can see I can take the back arm and push away the esophagus and the stomach and get a nice bite of that right cruise getting the whole peritoneum over the top of it. And then I just twist the tip of the needle through, release, re-grab, and then I can also swing the lobe of the liver out of the way so that we can go ahead and do another bite. This is all just with the pronation and the supination of the hand. I always do a figure of eight stitch here and then do a surgeon's knot to tie it down when I'm doing my pruroplasties. I use an o bond suture because I like the permanent suture that's non-barbed to go up in this area and of course you have to make sure that you get a nice peritoneal bite because if you don't have peritoneum covering it over, your fascial stitches or your, your muscular stitches on the crura will just eventually cut their way through. So we can sweep the liver away, identify the inferior vena cava to make sure that we protect that and we've got a nice figure of eight bite right here. I can protect the needle as I go ahead and hold it off to the side and then I just work on feeding the suture through. I'm using a full length o bond right here because I'm going to end up needing to do about seven or eight stitches during the entire case and I don't have to keep exchanging the needle in and out if I use one full length suture. It ends up being a little bit arduous for the first couple of sutures but after that it works really well and you can with good suture management you can just keep it off to the side and out of your field of view.